All right, so today I'm going to show you how I fixed my glitching pot on my DX6i. Um, if you go here to your monitor on your DX6i and you look at your controls here, mine's already fixed, but what had happened was when I did this control here on my elevator down it would glitch out it would never go full right now I'm on high rates it would never go full rates um, it would be stuck here kind of bouncing around it would never come back to center it would always be off a little ways um, so I'm going to show you how I fix this I believe that what I'm going to do here should work for both sides. If you're glitching on the left or the right side, this should uh, pr probably fix your problem. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to actually take the remote apart here. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've removed the batteries, the battery cover. I've removed all the screws in the back of the controller. And I've also removed the four screws around my control. Um, what we're going to do is now open up the model. Okay, now once we've opened it up, here's what we have on the inside. Now this is the control we're going to be removing. It has two uh, wire harnesses that come down and they actually go into this one plug right here. Uh, these will have a zip tie on them. Carefully remove that zip tie. Um, so you can remove the wires completely off of the circuit board. Be careful not to cut the wires. Um, with the four screws removed off of here, this will actually just pop right out like this. Okay. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, once you've carefully removed the clip off of the circuit board, I used a very small flathead screwdriver to do that made it very easy uh, now what we see here on the back of the control unit is there are two screws right there that torque your springs in uh, you will need to remove those I'm actually not going to remove those in this video because it is a uh, bit difficult to reset those springs into the areas but uh, it can be done uh, so you will remove those two screws. Also, there is a retainer clip. And this is your pot right here. This was my bad pot. Um, you're going to need to remove this. There's a retainer screw right there. Once you get them springs removed and those levers released, you can remove that pot. Once you get that out, these three little clips around the top of that pot there, you can bend those back very carefully. This pot top will actually come off and on the inside there are little roads in there that fingers ride on to feel where your control is. What I used to clean that is what happens is I believe they get dirty. I took a q-tip with a little bit of Windex on it and I carefully cleaned the contact areas inside of this. Um, I did not use a whole lot of uh, the Windex. I was careful not to get too much moisture on it, but then I carefully dried it as well. Uh, then you will need to reset it back in there, push the clips back down, and then reinsert it back into the control unit. You'll have to reconnect the springs onto their adjustment sliders that are in there, um, and then put your screws back in. Once you get your screws back to your tens tension that you like, it should look like this, nice and smooth, um, no binding, no noise. If you hear springs clicking or clanging, you know you have something hooked up wrong. Put your retainer clip back in so that everything stays sturdy. Uh, and then you're ready to plug back into your circuit board and put all your screws back. And once you do that, turn your controller back on and go back into your monitor selection, check your check your movements and see if that has helped you. Um, I hope this video helps. Thank you.